All right, hey Cancer, so we're doing an energy check-in for you and the person on your mind. What comes next? It is a separation read, you guys. Um, it's all about confirmation. So I'm going to start with the energy between you and this person. And if you guys don't resonate with that, check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. All right, so mutual energy, feelings, emotions. We got coffee cup. Meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. All right, so it doesn't mean that you guys necessarily have been meeting up. It could just be that that desire actually exists between you and this person. All right, um, so there, that desire, at least it's there between you guys. So I'm going to pull your energy, your current energy. Oh, yeah, you guys got to be talking. There's This might be a confirmation of something that's underway, something that is already starting to heal, something that is already starting to grow and kind of manifest itself together. All right, we have the Seven of Wands. To me, that tells me that you guys both think about each other. Um, I, I, I feel like it's a 24-7 nonstop kind of desire. If this person um, has not entered back into your life, um, you definitely feel a shift. You feel a change coming, Okay. And I feel like um, what you're doing is you're calling in that communication, um, you know, while maintaining um, self-love, self-care, devotion to self. You know, I love that the Queen of Cups comes through because that just tells me that your emotions are all in balance. Your emotions are in check, um, you know, and whatever, whatever the outcome, um, whatever, whatever is meant to be will be. That's kind of how I see your energy regarding this connection. So how do you feel about this person? How do you feel about this person? All right. So, you know, it could be that they got some mess going on in their life, right? We got the tower card coming through right here. Um, it's almost like if this person um, kind of gave you an excuse, you guys, um, you know, like I, I just can't be in a, a relationship. I can't be in a connection right now for whatever reasons. I feel like they've made you aware of that. And I feel like if anything, kind of what you're hoping for when it comes to this person and this situation is that you hope that everything starts to um, stabilize and shift for them. All right, we have the star card coming through right there. And I just feel like that's kind of representative of somebody that you can't see spending life without, you know, they're a wish fulfillment, um, you know, and if the energy was shifty between you guys beforehand, I feel like as far as your feelings go is that you want that, st you want it to stabilize uh, regardless of what has caused um, the delayed response between you guys coming together and uh, living out this dream, right? Union, happiness, harmony. Uh, so, um, gosh, I mean, I really don't feel like I have to ask the next question, which is, have they moved on? I'm going to skip that because I feel like you guys, I almost feel like there's going to be something bigger here than, than what we've been able to see. Uh, let's see what their energy is. What is their energy? They don't like being without you either. Um, that's what I'm going to say. I say that because, yeah, look at that. It's like we got this perfect match coming on, coming in over here. They don't like being out. They don't like being apart from you. Um, you know what I mean? We got the four of wands and now look at, we got the king of cups showing up cancer. Um, and you got that king and queen of the same suit, you know? Um, I really feel like their energy has been heartbroken, um, but I feel like it is an energy that's shifting. Okay. If they chose to, um, um, step away from this connection, I feel like there's definitely a lot of regrets. It's kind of, uh, um, in their, you know, in their embodiment, you know, regrets, remorse, sadness, loss, pain, um, you know, thinking of the bigger picture right here, um, it, and the grass could have been greener. It doesn't have to be for another connection um, romantically. It could have just been like this person didn't know what they wanted at the time, um, you know, and they, they have this, uh, it, again, if you guys are not already conversing, they have a strong desire for that reunion. Um, look at that, right? So let's just see what they're thinking of when it comes to you, their thoughts, what are they thinking? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. They can see a big picture now. I feel like that picture might have been missing beforehand, right? Look at that. Their thoughts, their feelings. Look, I didn't know what I wanted. Um, you know, this person could have been, like, hiding their feelings and emotions, gotten really quiet because they don't know what to think. Oh, I'm just going to get heartbroken again. You know, kind of putting that energy in their own way. Um, but I feel like where they were really conflicted, what they're saying right here is, like, I, I want to reconcile this. I want to reconcile, um, you know, the behavior I exhibited, um, whether it was just kind of go, like a slow creep out, you know, like a dissipation. 
um, this person, I feel like they were troubled, you know, I didn't know what to think. I didn't know that I was going to have these feelings and emotions when it comes to you. Um, but I do feel like they're there. I do feel like they are there. Look at that. Like I walking away from conflict. All right. Moving towards the victory, success, the one that makes me happy. Um, that's really what I kind of see here. You know, this person could have told some lies or some fibs. I didn't want nothing serious. Um, you know, if you met them on a dating site, it could have been one of those, uh, you know, um, they're looking for a relationship and then, oh, but not with you. And then boom, it's like this, this epiphany or this realization, you know, I kind of feel like with what you're dealing with when it comes to this person, their energy and emotions is it's almost like they weren't being honest with themselves more so than you. Um, about their feelings, you guys. That's just kind of what I see. So let's just, um, I, let me just, I, I feel like they're the ones that pulled away. So is there any regrets that come with that? Yeah, look at that. My energy, look at, no sooner did I pull away, I wanted to come back. All right. And this person, I just feel like they're, they've been stuck. They have been stuck. All right. I'm, I got to gather the courage. I got to muster up the strength to come back out of this like hiding space that I was in. Uh, and it could have been, too, that this person needed that time away, especially if they were, you know, pitching that hold on loosely dynamic. Um, and, and I'm not saying that they actually said that verbally, but it's almost like a, a just this internal um, desire, like hold on loosely, but don't let go. Right. Um, I feel like ever since they have pulled away or allowed the energy to dissipate or didn't. There was no follow through or follow up. Yeah, I feel like there are some regrets that come with that. So let's just see, is this person coming back? Are they going to be one? Are they going to be the ones to shift their energy back to you? All right. Well, somebody is. Look at that. It's like the universe, <laughs> the angels and the spirit guides are saying, yeah, we're going to we're going to move. If they're not going to move, we're going to make sure that we move them for you. And then we're going to make sure that they come through and clear up the confusion, um, clear up any, you know, negative energy that they've interjected into this connection. And I do feel like they're coming through with that emperor energy. That is somebody that makes the moves. They don't wait. Um, they, they've waited too long. This person's not going to wait. And the, the universe, too, I feel like they're going to dip their little universal hands into this connection and be manipulating the energy on behalf of you guys because they're saying, too, this is... This is not something that's done yet. So let's see what their intentions are when they come back. What are their intentions? What do we have? We got love call. Look at that. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. All right. And um, that could actually just, again, it could be just a huge confirmation. So let's just see what about that love call that's coming through. What are these intentions all about? We're just going to make sure that they're not selfish, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Ever since, ever since I've disconnected, ever since I allowed you to almost get away, um, you got your lover's card. No, I made the choice to step away. Now I'm making the choice to come back because I can't stop thinking about you. Um, it's almost like this. They've learned what your guys' connection is. They see a bigger picture now. Um, you know, and you guys don't have to take this person back because we have free will, right? Um, look at that coming out of the single phase. Uh, I took advantage of a wish fulfillment. Like I almost lost you. Um, and that is if they didn't lose you, you know? Um, so let's just see what your advice is on this. What is coming next through all of this? Yeah. Look at that. Out of despair comes the wish fulfillment. You guys are going to be making moves. You're going to be making moves. You're going to work on this past energy is what I see here. All right. Um, also, too, it's like when you guys come together, there could be this idea that things start to get stronger. Uh, um, you know, sometimes that happens. Not sometimes. Um, especially on these. The, the If you feel like this is a deep soul bond, sometimes the universe will purposely interject. Um, because there, there's a mismatched alignment when it comes to the energy that exists between you and them. But we have this 10 of coins also showing up, which is a jackpot. It's a wish fulfillment. It's actually being able to see past, um, you know, the hidden layers um, that come with these dynamics, the lessons um, being brought to um, the foresight. Um, you don't want somebody who's inconsistent. You don't want somebody who doesn't know what they want. Right. And I feel like that's kind of what's being repaired and healed with um, with you guys. All right, so let's just see a little bit more of your advice moving forward. Your advice to stay motivated and in the moment, 
and not overthink, right? What do we have? Look at that. It's like this little tender love coming back through for you guys. You got your six of cups showing up. Wow, and this card just keeps on popping out. There's a lot of love that exists right here. So just know that everything is going to come out. It's going to work itself in your favor. All right. And if you guys have been kind of going back and forth where you can feel a shift, but the shift hasn't come, um, just set your intention out. What do you want to happen? I feel like it's the desired um, return, right? So you just put that intention out there. Focus on yourself. Sorry, she did come in the upright. Focus on yourself. Focus on your own growth, your own healing. Focus on your own journey, whatever it is you guys got doing. But you, whatever it is that you got going on that takes your focus off of it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not here because what's ha what's being told right here is that this person will come back through and that the confirmation of anything, it's going to be your intuition. Okay. Uh, just give it some time. You guys, it's a 30 to 60 day intention read. So let, let those times go by and um, bring as much healing to yourself as you can. All right. Initials coming through. We have you are GG and BT. All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it right there. You guys take care.